Noah Centineo talks about some dark times he went through as a teen. We'll break down some exclusive Noah content and talk about why the Perfect Date co-stars can't stop gushing over each other. I'm Kelsey Venus, and you're watching The Daily Report. Aloha Fridays, everybody. And also, shout out Notification Squad. Comment a palm tree in honor of paradise today. For many of us, Noah Centineo came into our lives last August when he played the adorable Peter Kavinsky in To All the Boys I've Loved Before. To all the boys I've loved before. But for others, he's always been there, chipping away at Hollywood, getting one-liners on Disney shows, and landing a role on The Fosters. And we all have his older sister, Taylor, to thank for bringing him into our lives as he was forced to tag along with her to open casting calls when they lived in South Florida. After some community theater and local modeling, he landed a small role on Disney's Austin and Alley at the age of 15. What started out as a one-line part turned into a role that would appear in multiple episodes. It was then when he convinced his parents it was time to move to LA. He told the New York Times, quote, that's when I looked at my parents and was like, yo, I'm about it. If you move me there, I'll be successful. This is what I want to dedicate my life to. Honestly, Noah, I can relate. I said the same thing to my parents and look where I am now, twins. Okay, not really, but you get it. They lived in Los Angeles for three years before his parents were convinced it wasn't working and that he needed to go to college and get a job. Noah went through a rough patch, he started to doubt himself, and he told MTV, quote, I was like, maybe I should just not act. Maybe I should go to a third world country and do something of actual worth. But thankfully, our boy bounced back and realized this is what he wanted to do. And when it all clicked, he landed a lead role on the show, The Fosters. You know, some little show that we've all seen. His success story isn't without bumps in the road. At the age of 21, Noah had realized he was partying too much and had been since the age of 17. On Instagram Live, Noah confessed, quote, I was like, wow, maybe I should take a break. It was an act of self-love. Noah got sober and dedicated his life to loving himself and his career. He said, quote, what I found was when I took care of my body, my mind, my emotions, and my heart were way happier. And now our very own internet boyfriend has landed a role in a movie called The Diary, an action movie called Valet, the Charlie's Angels reboot, and he's in talks to possibly be He-Man in Masters of the Universe. Oh, and also, have you guys heard? The Perfect Date is out today. But don't take my word for it. Take it away, guys. What's up, guys? I'm Laura. I'm Noah. And I'm Odysseus. And we can't wait for you to see our new film, The Perfect Date. In the film, my character Brooks creates an app where people can book him to be their perfect date. That way, he can make some extra cash and can go to his dream college with a little help from his best friend, Murph. You know, my character, Murph, is really the brains behind the whole operation, who really makes the app. Whoa, 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 you forgot to mention Brooks got this idea after being my character Celia's stand-in date to prom. All right, all right, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, Dude, okay, true. Celia and Brooks quickly realize they have to reassess who they think they are. Um, who they think they were. <laughs> who are we? Okay, anyway, here is a sneak peek. <laughs> You're getting paid to take a girl on a date. Did you know that Michelle Obama got paid to go on a date with Barack? And look how great that turned out. Is that true? I don't know. But it could be true, and that is my point. Uh, good evening. Let's do this, so we can stop doing this. We don't care what you say. I happen to think that you and I can have a really good time tonight. You have clearly never been to my high school. Let's go shred some hardwood. No, yes. no, no. no. Is this your job? No. It should be. Troubled rich girls in need of a chaperone. It could be big business here. Go watch our film, The Perfect Date, right now, only on Netflix. I am so stoked to watch this, but also, can I be part of this friend group? Please add me in, like, somewhere. Let us know in the poll above which Noah movie you are most excited for. I wish I could vote for all of them because I'm just that girl. Coincidentally, Laura Morano played Allie in Disney's Austin and Allie, so this film had become a little reunion. When asked about working with Noah, Laura gushed. He's just like the loveliest guy. He has been since he's been 15. We've been there for each other since the beginning. She went on to say Noah would go around set telling people she was the reason he moved to LA. It was her show that got him here, and she joked he made it seem like she had that much power on the show, which 
she did not. And when the two aren't gushing over each other, they're busy gushing over their co-star Camila Mendez. Noah told Access Hollywood she's really, really intelligent, and she's also deeply talented. While Laura chimed in, stating how awesome she is, saying, quote, she's just awesome through and through. And I'm like, I wish she lived in LA more because she films all the time in Vancouver. So I'm just like, I love you, she's awesome. This is literally friendship goals right here. Meanwhile, Camila returned the love in an interview with Team Vogue, remembering the day they first met and how they stayed up until eight in the morning talking. That's like when I wake up, so. She said, quote, we were talking about everything and it was such a beautiful conversation. Just a great way to get to know each other. That kind of set the tone for the rest of the film. Ugh, this is literally Ultimate Friend Goals and we are so here for it and I just want to hear more about their BTS moments behind the scenes. I can't wait to watch The Perfect Date. And we cannot wait to see more from these three. But we want to know what you think. What would be your ideal Noah date? Let us know in the comments below and as always, don't forget to subscribe to our new Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel, where we will be gradually moving all of our daily reports, so make sure to check it out. I'm Kelsey Banis, and I cannot wait. This is all I'm doing tonight is watching The Perfect Date. I hope you guys are too.